Hello, my name is Ryan Kelly. I'm a recording artist, a singer, songwriter, pretty much all around bluffer, um, with groups like Celtic Thunder, uh, Burn and Kelly, and I've uh, written and recorded a few of my own albums as well. Um, so I pretty much make noise for a living. That's what I do. What's my favorite word? Um, it's simple, it, the word hobby. Uh, when you hear that when somebody tells you they're happy or happy days or it just yeah that's that's what I like to hear when I can say to somebody I'm happy myself then yeah I'm good with that my least favourite word awesome unless you're a, a Californian surfer um, I think awesome it's not <laughs> on the side of the Atlantic we shouldn't be using the word awesome uh, my favourite quote um, yeah there's a quote by Oscar Wilde uh, be yourself because everyone else is already taken and I think that's just sums it up personally perfectly just you don't have to be try to be someone else just just you know don't 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 Act like someone else, just be yourself and, and, and that's that that's all everyone wants. Uh, what's my take on mental health? Um it's it's so important. Um and I, I like the fact that I think these days, you know, um stuff like what Car's doing right now and it's become more to the fore. And so it's you know, this this the, the whole concept of it's okay to not be okay and it's okay to tell people that you're not okay. It's something that in the past was people had to suffer because of that because it wasn't okay to say that you know and, and seek help but now it is so I think it's 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 you know it's become so important that that we have to concentrate on our on our mental health and to get us through this weird journey that we're all on to get through this life you know um, so yeah I, I mean. I mean when Cara asked me to do this, I was delighted to do it because I, I just realised how much um, and how how important it all is, you know. Do you read what's your favourite book? Um, I don't read as much as I should anymore because I now listen to podcasts more than anything. It's, you know, when I'm out running and stuff, I'll, I'll listen to podcasts where I used to read much more. But I do... I've always loved reading about the um, the troubles, the Northern Ireland troubles. It's just it, it's it's been it's just fascinating to, to know, you know, whether it be when I was still a, when I was alive through that that part of the troubles or, or or times even before that when when before I was here. Um, but just really, just so interesting and just a you know, not the not the easiest read in the world, but. You know, just just fascinating stuff. There's just one book, a uh, Killing Rage by uh, a guy called Eamon Collins, and uh, I think it was probably my favourite of a lot of them. So, yeah, I would go for that. Do you work on your mental health? Um, again, I think it's it's just you become more aware. You know, in the past few years to do that. Uh, as I say, I over the past since I joined, so I started going to her with Celtic Thunder um, 2008 I started to run much more as a way of basically a way of getting out and and, um, and seeing things as a way of exercise but uh, exercise for up here as much as for, 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 for the body you know and I still do that I love to run I think a run is it's, it's just a great way of just keeping the mind active uh, while getting rid of a lot of um, maybe Negative stuff and stuff that might be able to, that might be taking you down. So yeah, uh, I've often heard said that you never regret when you come back from a run. You never regret going for that run, and I think that's that's probably the case. So I guess that's that's my big thing is is just sort of you know trying to get trying to clear my mind with with stuff like that. So that's my, how I work most on my mental health. I'd say. Any tips on how to stay motivated and positive? Um, I think it's, yeah, it's, it's not letting stuff get you down. I know that's easier said than done, and, and it's, it, maybe I'm simplifying things, but love what you do. You know, take the positives out of what you have and what you do, because 
we do have a lot of positives in our lives if we look hard enough for them. And I think that's probably probably the thing. I know it's easy just to let things get on top of you, but it's, it's often that you have to take a stand back and go, right, no, there's better, you know, I, I'm not giving myself enough credit here. I'm not giving my own life enough credit. Maybe that's what it is. What's your go-to takeaway? Uh, well, when I'm in America, I, I could. I always said I could, I could. I could probably live the rest of my life on just sandwiches. I love sandwiches, and um, so there's a there's a there's a chain I think in America called Wish Witch, and they make these massive sandwiches. And I yeah, anytime I get to America, I could go to a Wish Witch. I will. Here, um, it's a uh, chippy. Yeah, butter sausage supper is my. I always said it's my um, death row meal. I think butter sausage supper. Um, not sure how good the batter sausages would be if that was in like a San Quentin jail or somewhere where, where I might be in death row. But um, yeah, that could be that could still be it. Batter sausages and chips. Red sauce or brown on a fry? Brown every day of the week. Every day of the week. Yeah, has to be. And again, a fry, an oyster fry is probably one of my favourite meals as well. So I, that will be up there as well for those death row meals. What would you like to say to someone's to say to anyone struggling um, I think the thing is the, pretty much to say you're not alone Do you know there are so many people like you I think when people are struggling and they think I'm abnormal this is you know no one else is like this and you realise that so many people have gone through that and have sought help and have come out the other side so that would be the thing is just to Seek help and uh, know that you're you're not alone. Hope this has helped.